following the rising cases of cancer patients in Nigeria. So the federal government has been tasked to declare a state of emergency on cancer and drug shortages affecting chances of patients to live in the country. This was the consensus of key relevant stakeholders at the official unveiling of Hayes' Haven Foundation to provide care, psychological support and zero tolerance to cancer diseases in society. Cancer data in Nigeria leads to over 72,000 deaths per annum, with male recording 30,924 deaths, female 40,647 deaths. The so special advisor to the Vice President on Political Matters, Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed, said early detection, education and massive investment for cancer treatment are ways to curb the deaths. Enough education about cancer. A lot of cancer can be treated if it is detected correctly, particularly cancer that afflicts women. Breast cancer, breast, breast cancer of the breast. It's easily detectable and easily treated. There are a lot of cancer. All people cannot afford the amount of money you spend for chemotherapy. The government must address that. These three things are important. We need a leadership that has empathy. Cancer is a very serious problem. If you have it, it's virtually a death sentence in this country if you're poor. Even if you are rich, the government should declare an emergency on cancer. Buy the equipment that is necessary. And they recruit doctors, train them on oncology, and deal with it. We can't just ignore a citizen just simply because he or she has cancer. Because it's very expensive. Cost should not be a hindrance to helping people. The former commissioner, Ministry of Human Services and Social Development, Afsat Baba, said teaching hospitals must be upgraded and equipped. He said subsidizing drugs and chemotherapy which are beyond reach of the common man. And, uh, but the, the issue that actually I'm advocating is the subsidizing of the drugs. The drugs are quite very expensive. Uh, it is beyond the common man's reach. So um, also look at the chemotherapy. Going through the chemotherapy for about a year or even more is also very, very expensive. So I think if the government can subsidize the drugs and can also subsidize the regimen of the um, the treatment. So I think we can go along with So I want to call on the Northwest uh, Zone governors, the seven governors, to actually look at cancer as something that they need to, that needs really intervention. Just the way, uh, you know, there was intervention in HIV and AIDS and uh, other uh, diseases. So I think cancer should also be given proper attention. Focus uh, is, on, is going to be on the um, awareness campaign, complementing measures, and uh, for people who are really having the disease, we will discuss on how to they can manage it and also giving kind of um, emotional support to people who are also battling with cancer, including their families, because once a person is passing through, uh, uh, through cancer, it's all about, it's not only on the person alone, it involves the entire family. I am calling on the way to do Nigerians to come over to support. We can't allow the government alone to do this. Looking at um, the northern region entirely, we don't have single with the therapy machine so there's need for well to do in the society to come over to support if it means getting the machine that needs to ease the burden of people traveling far away to go and um, get treatment care for those who are going through this um secondly care for orphans and widows also are uh, in memory of uh, the disease so uh, it the, the support might be in the form of drugs uh, it might be in terms of psychological care among several others Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.